Been a little while since we cracked the dictionary, and crack it we shall, taking a look at Merriam-Webster's trending words. First up, nepotism. On Tuesday, former South Carolina governor and United Nations ambassador to the U.S., Nikki Haley, resigned her post, and President Trump joshed at the thought of appointing his daughter Ivanka to the job. You'd be accused of nepotism even though I'm not sure there's anybody more confident in the world. So you rush to the dictionary to look up nepotism, which means favoritism based on kinship. The last time it was trending, 2017, when the president appointed his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, to his cabinet. The next word has to do with the U.S. Senate and the dramatic final two votes to confirm Brett Kavanaugh as Associate Justice to the Supreme Court. The word is cloture, kind of like closure, but with a T, cloture was the first dramatic vote the Senate took on Kavanaugh, essentially capping off debate and moving on to the confirmation vote. People getting all sorts of civic sensibility up in this piece. The next trender is quorum. The number of people in a body or committee needed to conduct a vote. Its use, legislatively, is to make sure that votes don't slip through with one or two people present. Quorum also means a Mormon body comprising those of the same age in the priesthood. I know. I don't know, I don't know. Now this word's lookup spiked 47,000% as Dr. Christine Blasey Ford testified to the Senate Judiciary Committee. She said a word I'd never heard before, I don't know if you have, sequelae. Ford was asked by Senator Feinstein why she held the story all these years and Ford replied, quote, I did disclose it in the confines of therapy where I felt it was an appropriate place to cope with the sequelae of the event, end quote. I know, sequelae, plural for sequela, which means an after effect of a disease condition or injury. Like, uh, I don't know, the gentle knifing feelings in the legs after trying a marathon. Words! So you I, speak from experience, that's how you felt after that marathon? I do, I do, and I, uh, yeah, I'm still sore. But I, I, I feel a little sequela in my lungs as well. Mm. You see that? Yeah. We nice. have a quorum to vote here, right? Well, not right now. Well, two. It's just two. Yeah, okay. I tried. We would need Jana and our producers and some others. I can't believe she dropped sequelae, though. Like, I yeah. mean, you, you were either really, really well read or really well studied to drop some stuff like that in this. It's all Senate. good because she's making us smarter. That's right. We'll right? bring it to you that way. We're back after this break. Okay, sequelae. It had seemed like the safest place to hide. Fourteen members of the same family huddled in a root cellar as Minnesota's deadliest disaster roared toward them. Exactly 100 years ago. It was hard to imagine. Next, 